In this video, my coach Bernard gives me two techniques that have changed my bunker play. And if you've been following my journey, this is a part of my game that I've really been struggling with. Fats, thins, leaving the ball in the bunker or just getting the ball out of it. But it all changed after this lesson. Bernard's been my coach in this journey and he's helped me get from 17.6 to 5.7 within six months. And after watching my match against Gary, where I give at least three holes away because of bad bunker play, he wanted to help. All right, Gary. You get one back. <laughs> Bernard does have a video on the fundamentals of bunker play, which I'll link below, but he wanted to give me two techniques, one for fluffy sand and one for hard pan bunkers. But he also wanted to give me a feel that I could bring to the golf course. And like any good lesson, it starts with me absolutely nailing the first shot. Of course you're gonna hit the... <laughs> <laughs> but then I'd quickly show him the issue. That's the one we're seeing a lot of. Like that could have been thin. So you, yeah. you impacted the sand, you know, a good seven, eight inches back. Was it? Yeah, yeah. that much. So you're talking to me about feeling that your weight's on the left. Mm. Yeah. And that the ball position is forward. Yeah. Probably the ball's a little bit too far, far forward. Okay. And there's no weight in the left. So funny, it feels like You're, you're almost, your head's behind the golf ball. Okay. Oh, you're talking about putting my head. Yeah, and even okay. a little bit more lean into it. Okay. Where the low point is, generally, is opposite. We say your sternum, middle yeah. of your chest there. And you're back like here, like you're setting up to hit the ground early. Yeah. Unless you start kind of maybe letting that wrist angle go too soon. Yeah. It's where your thin and heavy shots are coming from. So what we'll get you to do is stand into my footprints in a second. You're going to feel like you're over here. Ball position, I do like it a little bit, far, a little bit forward. Definitely, maybe not as much as you. I like this left foot turned out more. And it's kind of like what we were seeing in your full swing. You know the way you keep a lot of weight in that left thigh? Yeah. I want you to keep it there for a bunker play. <laughs> okay. All right? Okay. So you should be technically pretty good at this. <laughs> okay. There's no weight shift coming back. You'll notice that if I drop my club from my sternum here, it's on this line that's directly across okay. from the golf ball. From here, a lot of pressure there. My left foot's turned out a nice bit there, and I'm going to keep that weight there. You're going to feel probably like this, like you're looking back at the ball, because right now you're kind of like this. You're going to get some yeah, that's, that's a shot of mine. thin shots like that, yeah. or some heavy ones, right? Turn the left foot out a wee bit more as well. Good. How does that feel? Not a million miles away. Okay, do you feel more in front of it or left side of it? Uh, I feel... <laughs> The ball feels more center. Okay, yeah. It's still, like, center would be kind of here. Yeah, That's like, compared good. to probably because I would have had yeah, it yeah. here. Get even a little bit more left. Good. Hit a shot there. Yeah. So a loss of posture there coming through. Let's see it again. Lean yeah. into that left side more. Move your left hit, your hip more to the left. There you go. Yeah. That's it there, yeah. Go? Yep. Yeah, let's go again. Just coming back to the full swing, so it's a balance issue there. Am I mimicking yours? <coughs> yep. Where do you feel the weight in your feet? Here, like right. Right, right in the middle? Yeah. Not in the balls, not in the heels, right in the no, middle. It's... Bend those knees a little bit more. Okay. Good. Okay, yeah. hang on there a sec. See, keep setting up to it. Good. Well done. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so, lovely little drill for you here. I want you to come over here. Imagine that there's a ball sitting on that line, right? So set up to it as if there's a ball right here. Good, now, make a swing. So you see where that club entered the sand? Yeah. It's way too far back. Let me jump in there. So what I like about this is instant feedback, like you're more than three quarters back behind where the ball would be on this line. All right, what we're looking for. See that? The closer we can get to the ball, the more we control spin. So now we don't want to be all this side. There's a little bit here back from that line. So lots of knee flex. Now ball position looks too far forward from back there. No, it's okay. 
So turn the left foot out a little bit more. There, left that left knee, follow it. Yeah, hang on there. Keep setting up. There. Yep. Okay. Well done. So all these different feels and stuff and setup all oh, mm -hmm. take a little while to get the hang of, all right. But bunker plays mostly setup. Do you ever see some players dig their feet in? Yeah. Let's do that. Really? Yeah, big time. <laughs> nah, come on. <laughs> there we go, now do it. Class. Yeah? Go for it. Get in there. So, what we were seeing was that the ball position was off, your balance wasn't right, your chest position, the head position wasn't right. Very important for you as well. I think like coming back to the whole, the B word, all right? The balance. Getting you in here is important. It also gives you a feel for the sand and the depth of it and what it feels kind of under the golf ball. Yeah, okay. How hard to hit it. Okay. But we got to get like that, let that left foot dig in more. Good, yeah. Well done. Yeah. Yep, ball position is better. Get your chest a little bit more left. Yeah. More over the left side. And go for it. Now, I like the finish and the footwork is better, but we need to go back to the line in the sand here because you're entering the sand too far behind the ball. Where the sand gets a little bit more compact when it's been raining more, again, these are pretty, pretty fluffy at the moment. What you can do, instead of opening up the club face, sometimes you're gonna almost have to close it. I, I, I do that on longer shots and... Yeah, but let's say, okay, we have a short shot here, let me hit one, so this is quite compact now. If I open up, we say there's 10 degree bounce in your club, it's just not gonna wanna get into the sand just literally bounce back off it. So I'm feeling here, if the leading edge is up at 12 o'clock, I'm gonna turn it into say 11 o'clock, get that same setup and see the ball just coming out and release him a little bit more. All right. <laughs> still, got it, that, <laughs> still got it, Phil. I still got it. Oh, that's your best today. Yeah, I just copied you. <laughs> it's literally, yeah. It's a good thing to do, isn't it, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm really happy with that now. Like that, you yeah. hit that nice and firm balance way better. Show us that again. So much of it's set up though, isn't it? Like, do, yeah. have we even really spoken about your swing, really? No. No. Oh, wow. Hear that sound? Yeah. Yeah. The interesting thing was when we got you into the sand a bit more, you know, it, it kind of got you a better foundation. Yeah. You're almost like... I've always shied away from that. Oh, definitely start doing it. Lovely. A lot of spin. Look at the control on that. So, you see how you're hitting close to the golf ball. Sounds way better because there's not lots of sand in between us. Yeah. Now you can hit them out there with a nice bit of control and spin. Yeah. So if you look at this shot here, like this is something we have to start avoiding. What? That shot? So you're not making a long enough backswing. It's more of a pitch kind of swing off the grass you're making. It's yeah. too much yeah. like that. We got to really feel that we're hinging the hands. A lot. This quick cock of the wrist can't be underestimated. It adds so much speed and is exactly what is needed to get out of bunkers. And it's why Bernard is so insistent on me getting this right. Now, hard to do that, make a full swing and only hit the ball, you know, that far. Yeah. Right, if that was off the grass, you know, it's gone much further because there's no cushion of sand in between it. But what you're doing is that. Mm. We got to feel a lot of hinge to create that speed, all right? So there's that line sternum on it there. Left leg over the left foot, hinge there. So 
more of a wrist hinge straight. Yeah, that's lovely. I like that action. Oof, what's coming back? <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> what do you feel there? Wrist Big, hinge. Bigger swing. We felt massive. Or how could you possibly hit it hard if your confidence is low? You know? Yeah. Where now you're in a much better setup position. It enables you to hit it hard because your entry point is going to be better. Balance is better. You're digging in now. Ball position better, chest more over the golf ball, hinge of the hands. Lovely. Well done. Finish, very good. All right, so just say if we're hitting a shot from here where there's plenty of sand. Okay. This is where your club is great, because it's... Well, you can go back to your sand wedge, you say. There's 12 degrees on that, a lot of fluffy sand underneath it. Stops the club digging in too much. Ball's a little far forward there, move your foot to the left, keep going, there you go. Okay, turn this one out a little bit more, straighten this one up here. Lots of pressure there. I feel like your head, keep hold of there, mm. is left of the ball. Oh! -ho. Nice. See that lovely shallow divot? Yeah. And see the length of it, there to there. Remember we had one over here? Started back there. Well done. After this lesson, my bunker play is so much more consistent. And the next day I practice, the results, they spoke for themselves. And with the handicap season about to start, I feel I'm in a much better position. I'm definitely less scared of being in those bunkers. I've left Burner's details below. And as always, thanks for watching.